everyone! Now it's summer again, so I'm back to making YouTube videos. Yay! I don't know if this happens to everyone, but in my experience, over the course of a lifetime, or at least a couple years, green Expo markers don't erase as well as the other ones. Sadly, this has led me to despise these markers and has even caused me to be hesitant in using green in stop motions, which I shouldn't have to worry about. So I've decided to dedicate this video to finding out if this is just my imagination or if it's really true. With the scientific method, yayzies! The first step is to ask a question. Hmm. Do green markers erase as well as the other markers? Well, no, but before we jump to conclusions, let's do some research and experiment. When I was researching, I didn't find anyone else with this problem, so maybe my markers are just bad. Ooh, after a while I started getting sidetracked. They make magnetic expo markers? What was I talking about again? Oh yeah, hypothesis. Greens don't erase. Now to devise an experiment. To start, I organized my markers a bit, and then tested out every marker I had on the board. I made sure to apply the same amount of pressure to each marker to the best of my ability. And what do you know? Green is a very stubborn color. Well, maybe subconsciously I was just being biased to the green marker and not applying as much pressure to it. I should do a blind test. Yep, green still won't erase. Well, I kind of knew this would happen from the start, but this gave me more ideas. I should test this with a whole bunch of different variables. Would the results be the same on a different whiteboard? Are whiteboards really that different from each other? Maybe they would be ridiculously similar, making this a ridiculous experiment, but maybe not. It doesn't hurt to test it out. I tested with two markers, the red and the green. Whoa, they are different. I decided to rank them based on the red marker's results because the green is kind of a weird cat. Then I tried time, and I got a bit crazy with it. I made a graph, got my phone timer out, and I started timing. The first minute's results were to be expected. I considered the red the average one the whole way through, with it needing a standard amount of pressure to erase. At the five minute mark, it was only a bit harder to erase the colors, although the green was more, more notably difficult to erase. After 10 minutes, things got weird for the green. It became easier to erase. I tried to keep the conditions as similar as possible for the test, so I don't think that was a huge problem. Okay, I have concluded, thanks to my very scientific -y experiment that was completely flawless, that green markers become easier to erase over time, that my whiteboard makes markers harder to erase than other brands, and of course, that green expo markers don't erase. Wait! Stop the credits! Don't leave yet! I've found it! Deep in the website of Expo Markers, they have sent a promising message to the public. New, better erasing ink. They're talking about the green one, I think. I guess we'll leave it a mystery on what they changed and when they changed it, but at least they knew about the problem and fixed it. Maybe when my green markers dry up, I'll get the new greens, and maybe then my green markers will finally erase.